hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is minx kinks and y'all as you see we're in the shower okay so that means we're getting ahead into another shower routine and this one is specific to what i'm using this summer so i'm so excited to show you guys the products that i've been using because i know y'all love a shower routine and i got some goodies in this one let me tell y'all so first things first, if you're new around here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We absolutely would love to have you. Let me know some other body care videos that you are interested in seeing from me. And now let's go ahead and talk about this shower, of course. So y'all know I like to use the um, African shower nets, but this one isn't like an authentic one. I actually got this one from Marshalls or TJ Maxx and it has a drawstring. And today I'm going ahead and using a Dr. Bronner sandalwood and jasmine scent, which I didn't even know that they made until I randomly saw it in Marshalls. So I would highly recommend going to go check it out and see if they have it because it smells so amazing. And to me, it smells like summer and um, just like, oh, it gives, gives me beach. Like I just love it. So of course I go ahead and put some on the shower sponge and then I dilute it with water. That's very important or else your skin will get irritated. And with this shower net, you're able to really get your back so that it's nice and clean. Um, and you're also getting exfoliating with this shower net, which is something that I absolutely love. All right, boom. So we're going ahead in with my favorite shaving cream. This is the Skin Timid Raspberry Rain. Um, they all pretty much work the same, but I really like this scent, especially for the summertime. So it comes out, as you guys can see, like a regular shaving cream, and then it lathers up. And I'm just going ahead here and shaving my underarms, which is so awkward to record because y'all already know. And then I'm just going in with a Venus razor. This one I like. Um, I buy just random cartridges, um, be it if they're on sale or just ones that look interesting, but nothing, nothing in particular, y'all. Okay, boom. So for me, I usually either use a body scrub or a body wash. And today I actually showed you guys both. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the body scrub. This is the, um, I think it's called like pharmacy. Yeah, body pharmacy or something. Boss Babe body scrub. This is in the scent. I want to say it was like shea butter and almond milk or something. And as you guys can see, this is pretty much used up. This is another one I got from Marshalls. And it's a very, very thin thick scrub so you guys will see that I like to get a little splash of water to rub it in so that it creates more like a lather and it makes it more easy to move that was definitely the downfall of this product for me um I don't know that I would repurchase per se depending on the scents and stuff but it was just um a little bit of an extra extra step to use in the shower but the exfoliation did feel good the smell felt good I did have shine and my body did feel moisturized after using the scrub and of course, it wouldn't be a shower if you're not in there dancing, of course. I will also say that a little did go a long way with this product. Okay, boom. So next we're going in with one of the most popular body washes right now. This is the Pink Beach Solterra Body Wash. And it's like a body wash serum. So I decided to just go ahead and show you guys this on my legs. And um, actually, no, I'm showing you guys the body scrub. But I will show you guys the scrub or the um, Solterra on my legs as well. This is just, you know, showing me exfoliating a little bit more. And exfoliating is super important because it gets rid of all of the dead skin that is left on your skin and leaves it nice and smooth. Um, I personally like to exfoliate before or after I shave, preferably before, just to make sure that I'm able to get the cleanest shave as possible. Okay, y'all, now I'm showing you guys me trying the Solterra body wash. And it's a very liquidy um, type of body wash, so it was kind of hard to show you guys on camera. Um, but I want to tell y'all, this smells absolutely delicious. The packaging is beautiful as well as recyclable. You guys know that I love a little recyclable moment. Um, and it feels really, really good on your body. I like the serum-y aspect of it. It's not too heavy. It's not you know, super greasy or anything. So it makes it really nice, especially in the summertime when you're already hot and sweaty and stuff and you don't want too much on you. So 
I like that and as you guys can see it doesn't take much and it lathers up very well. Definitely let me know down below if you have tried the Solterra body washes and what scent you picked up. Okay, so I'm out of the shower, of course, and I actually have included something new in my routine, and this is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. And y'all, the girls have been talking about the glycolic acid, and they, listen, they wasn't wrong. They wasn't wrong. So I use this on certain parts of my body. I don't feel it necessary to use it on every part. It is very liquidy, so I tend to break out right on my jawline and on my neck. So I like to use it there. And I also like to use it on the parts of my body that have blemishes. So I will show you guys the consistency here. And you guys see that it's super liquidy. So I use it almost like an oil replacement. I use it on my chest to get rid of any dark marks. And then on my stretch marks on my arms. And it has, it has seemed to be helping. I also do use it on my underarms. They say that it's also like... Um, something about uh, like a deodorant replace replacement for me personally i still use deodorant i don't i don't really want to take that risk but it also has lightened up my underarms as you guys can see and then you guys know i do have pretty bad back knee for whatever reason so i use it there as well um and i don't think i've been using it long enough to tell next i'm going in with a butter and this is from truly the unicorn cbd look at the colors okay i absolutely love the packaging on this product so you guys can see that it's definitely a thick butter butter like it's not it's not to play with it's not a cream um for me the smell is very meh like i don't love the smell but i do like the way the product feels and as you guys can see just by that one little bit that i put on it leaves my body super super shiny and hydrated and i absolutely love that now I will say I don't opt for this every day because again this is a summer routine so um, sometimes I just don't want to go in with something super heavy but as for today I really wanted to just make sure that my body was feeling good and very glistened and of course we had to get a selfie. Now I'm back in fully dressed and listen the YouTube girls got me on the perfumes at night so this is the flower bomb and I absolutely love this scent it smells so soft so feminine and I just love to wear it when I go to sleep chow it just be me but I absolutely love to roll around in my bed and smell this perfume it just smells so good and y'all don't tell me I'm using too much perfume okay So next I did go ahead and just include a few little clips of me doing my skincare. I did do a skincare routine not too long ago so I will link that up above but also um, if you want more skincare definitely let me know what you guys are interested in seeing from me. I went ahead and put on a pimple patch because today I had several glaciers sitting on my face and I didn't want <laughs> those permanently left there. So I absolutely love this routine. Oh, and of course I had to put on my lip sleeping mask from Laneige. Is it Laneige? Laneige? Yeah. So yeah, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you would like to see down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.